Welcome to this tech snip where I'll show you how to manage Azure resource groups using PowerShell. There are two prerequisites. You're going to need an Azure account and also the Azure PowerShell module. So let's get started. So each resource in Azure must belong to a resource group. A resource group is simply a logical construct that groups multiple resources together so they can be managed as a single entity. So first we're going to create a resource group using new Azure RM resource group. Let's have a look in the portal first. I just refresh this and you'll see I have one resource group, which is for my Cloud Shell account. So let's have a look at the parameters for this command. The minus name is for the text snip, uh, which we're going to call the resource group and the location is UK South. We're also adding a tag to it, uh, which can be used for various purposes. If you're unsure about tags or like to learn more, there is another snip called Using Tags in Azure by Matt Brown, and it's worth watching. So we'll just run this command. And there you see it's been created with our tags, where we've got department as IT and environment as test. And we'll then run a command called set Azure RM resource group with the name of our resource group, which is text snip then followed by tags, which is the new values. And there you'll see they've updated. So the next command that we look at is get Azure RM resource group. And we can use the various properties of this to actually find out some information about the resource group. So if we run get Azure RM resource group and we use the count property, you'll see we've got two groups. Now we can filter down on the name by looking at the resource group name property and there it just returns the names of the resource groups we have. So in the fourth example, what I want to do is actually filter on resource group names which are like Europe. So you know if I put a wildcard at either end and it should return any resource groups that have the word Europe in them. And there we go. We can also run the get Azure RM resource group command and look at the tags. And there we have it. So finally, you'll want to remove your resource group if you need to, of course. So we use the commandlet remove Azure RM resource group, the name of the resource group. This time I've used parameter what if. So this will tell us what would happen if we did run this command. So yes, it would be removed. So in the next line, what I'm going to do is remove this and use the force parameter. And that's a resource group removed. We can actually just double check by looking in the portal and refresh that again. Yeah, and it's not there. So that was how to manage Azure resource groups with PowerShell. Thank you for watching this snip.